This lecture is about penalized regression models. The agenda is that we will take the house sales data set, we will visualize the house price, we will do a log normal of the house price and then we will also calculate the skewness of the numeric variables, then we will do reach regression and lasso regression. So let's jump in and see it in action. So the first thing is that we import the libraries, we read the train and the test CSV, we do a head of the train so as to see the data, then we concatenate both the train and the test and we include the columns from MS subclass to cell condition. We test the all data to head to get a glimpse of the data. Here we have a glimpse of all the object columns and this is just to see that the various unique values of the electrical column. We copy the data into another variable which we will use in another feature. Here in this, we are creating a plot of the sale price and we see that there are certain outliers. So what we will do here is that we will, we will take a log of it and uh, the log 1p and numpy log 1p. It is a natural, let's see what it is. It returns the natural logarithm of 1 plus input array element wise. Calculates log of 1 plus x. So this is also the train of the sale price after the log 1p. And you can see it is normal. Similarly, what we are doing is that we are getting only the numeric features. And these are the numeric features. What we do is that we calculate the skewness of the numeric features here. And we are choosing the skewed feeds which are having the skewness greater than 0 0.75. Just a brief recap of what is skewness. Skewness is the measure of the degree of asymmetry of a frequency distribution. If the distribution is symmetrical, then the mean, median and the mode is the same. If it is positively skewed, then the mean is greater than the median and the median is greater than the mode. If it is negatively skewed, the mean is less than the median and the median is less than the mode. So in this case, what we are doing is that we are taking those uh, features which have high skewness and we are taking the log 1p or the log, natural log of these features and we get this data. Then what we are doing is that we are doing a one hot feature encoding of the data. What is the one hot feature encoding that we will see it. Let us do the pd.get dummies. It is a one hot feature encoding. So what it does is that, let's see, so, so we know that the electrical column has these values. After doing the one hot encoding, what happens is that this column is split up into one, two, three, four, five columns and this is equal to the number of values a categorical variable has. Therefore, 
what happens is that if you have a categorical variable and it has a number of values, we get the number of columns equal to the number of categorical values. And for that column, if suppose, for example, we have fuse F, the value, then the electrical fuse F will have the value of 1. So that is how the categorical variable is broken up into a number of columns. The disadvantage is that what it is doing is that it is creating a number of columns. We are filling NAs with the mean of the column and uh, we create the matrix of, for SK learn, the SK train and the SK test and the Y is the train sale dot price. Now we are creating the model. Now what we are doing is that we will use the cross validation and we are using the cross val score from Escalon for it. And we are calculating the RMSC in the CV for it. Here the number of folds is given by CV variable. Now let us do the reach regression and the lasso regression. Before we go on to the implementation, in our previous videos we have explained the reach regression and the lasso regression but it's a good time to revisit them so as to refresh our memory. The reach regression and the lasso regression is uh, the family of penalized regression models. In the penalized regression models, we would be trying to minimize two components the sum of square errors and the tuning parameter lambda multiplied by the sum of squares of coefficient in case of reach regression and a tuning parameter lambda multiplied by the sum of the absolute value of the coefficients in case of lasso regression. In this way, the value of the coefficients are penalized for being too large. Please note this. The value of the coefficients are being penalized for being too large. This method of modeling improves accuracy over unseen data. So mathematically speaking, what we are doing is that we are trying to minimize the sum of squares. So y hat i is a predicted value and y i is the actual value. And we are squaring it and plus lambda. And then we are squaring the coefficients and then summing it up. It's a very fancy equation, but the concept is very simple. Sum of square errors plus lambda multiplied by the sum of squares of coefficients in case of ridge regression. And similarly, for the lasso regression, it is this, this part is the sum of squares and this part is the sum of the absolute value of the coefficients. So let's jump in and see the implementation of it. So we are doing the reg regression and here the lambda, here we are making it, uh, the values of lambda, we are saying it is alphas and these are the alphas that we are going to change in our reach regression. And we do a cross validation and we get the values of the cross validation here. Similarly, what we are doing is that we are finding the minimum CV because it is a mean square error and we find, sorry, it is the root mean square error and we find the minimum CV or the minimum cross validation occurs for a value of lambda or alpha equal to 10. So we make the model is equal to reach alpha is equal to 10 and fit the model. And then we get the coefficient of the models and then we see that there were 288 variables 
and reach has picked 28 variables and eliminated 0 variables. But for the lasso regression, we repeat the same thing. We have the alpha, we create the CV reach and we do the cross validation and we find the minimum cross validation error or the RMSC, the minimum RMSC occurs for the value of alpha of 0 0.005. We then use a model dot fit using the lasso and then we find that it has picked 178 variables and eliminated the other, uh, sorry, it has picked 110 variables and eliminated the other 178 variables. So you see that the reach did not eliminate any variable, but the lasso eliminated a number of variables. Hope you liked the lecture of reach and lasso regression. Here, we have gone through the concept, we have gone through various concepts here. First, we have explored of how we can manage the skewed variables using the log transformation and also we have understood previously in our first lectures about reach and lasso regression but now we are going and seeing a good implementation of reach and lasso regression. Thank you so much 